My name's Stephen and I started the actuarial science degree in 2011 and graduated in June 2015 and I'm now working for Hyman Robertson in their Edinburgh office. I chose to study actuarial science because I really enjoyed maths at school and this was a course that would allow me to use the maths. I also cho uh, chose to study at Harriet Watt because it was the only university in Scotland that offered the course but a great benefit is that the course is accredited by the Institute and Faculty of Actuaries and also it provides you with eight exemptions from the 15 professional exams that you have to sit before you qualify as an actuary. A big benefit of the BSc at Harriet Watt is that it provides you with eight exemptions from the 15 professional exams that you have to sit before you qualify as an actuary. This is a great benefit because you can demonstrate to employers that you have the ability to successfully qualify as an actuary also, there's a large emphasis placed on your development, not only academically, but also in terms of the career that you're going to have in the future. In the second semester of first year, there's an entire course dedicated to improving your application and interview techniques. And these come in handy when you're no doubt applying for internships or graduate roles in the future. There's a great relationship between the students and staff. You can approach any member of staff without fear of not getting what you want out of that meeting. There's also a great opportunity to study abroad in Melbourne, Australia or Waterloo, Canada. And also there's a great um, programme where you can take a year out to work in the industry to gain commercial awareness and experience in the industry. Studying the actuarial science degree gives you a great commercial awareness of what's happening in the, in the industry at present. I think that's probably the best thing that I took away from the course was the ability to impress prospective employers at interviews with knowledge of what's happening at present because that's always a question that they ask. You're bound to be asked that in an interview and studying the course gives you a good basis of what's happening at present. There's a great Students Actuarial Society at Harriet Watt that's run by the students for the students. This is a great way to meet uh, new people both within Harriet Watt and in the industry. Hopefully it's people that you can will keep in contact with throughout your time at Harriet Watt and in the future. They host a range of social events and talks where you can learn what's happening in the industry at present from people who actually work in the industry. There's an opportunity to get involved with the society right from first year to fourth year. So from first to third year, I was just a member of the society who went along to the talks and the social events. And then in fourth year, I joined the committee as the education director. So this involved um, hosting revision sessions for the younger students with subjects that are notoriously difficult and needed maybe a little bit of extra help in. For someone considering studying the actual science degree at Harriet Watt, I would just tell them to go for it. It's a great course with great uh, lecturers and great people that you meet. I think the one big piece of advice that I would give would be to attend your lectures. It might seem like a simple idea but when you first start out it might seem that you might think something's easier than it is and you might slip up to attend in but definitely attend all your lectures and get involved in the Actual Society. Edinburgh is a beautiful city with a vast array of different things to do. You've got your tourist side and you've got your social side. So if you're into big touristy things, there's plenty to do. And if you enjoy going out, then there's lots of bars and restaurants and clubs that you can go to. And the best thing is that during the festival, your night doesn't have to end at three, you can stay out till five. In terms of the weather, I do keep an umbrella in my desk drawer, but it's not needed that often. We do get long summer days here in Scotland and with Edinburgh being such a green city it's lovely the rest of the year as well.